One common issue faced by most new riders is the frequent stalling of their motorcycles on takeoffs, especially when they're taking off from a uh, stop sign or traffic light. Uh, hello fellow bikers. In this video, I'm going to share with you some tips on how to avoid stalling your motorcycle when taking off from a flat surface or from an incline uh, or hill. Uh, especially with the pressure from the occasional traffic trailing behind you. First off, let's talk about stalling. What is it and why it happens mostly to new riders? Stalling occurs when, uh, when a bike shuts down when the clutch is released too quickly, thereby overloading the engine. This is very typical of, the, of motorcycles and it, and it happens mostly to new riders and this usually happens to them because they release the clutch too soon and because they do not give sufficient gas to the engine and that's what I want to talk to you guys about today here is tip number one focus on the throttle as much as you do on the clutch Twisting it continuously as you let out the clutch and hit the friction zone. Do not roll off the throttle. Even if you feel uh, that you're over revving the engine. A quick reminder here uh, from your riding course, which if you did not take, you should. You should be in first gear when coming to a full stop and always start out in the first gear. As new riders, we are taught to focus almost entirely on the clutch and the friction zone. And not as much emphasis is placed on the throttle, which is why we end up stalling our bikes. As a matter of fact, in the course, they also will tell you, in any safety riding course, uh, they will tell you that you can also get the bike moving without rolling on the throttle. When I first started riding, I stalled the bike quite often on takeoffs because when I rolled on the throttle, as I released the clutch, the loud noise of the engine would scare me, making me think that I was doing something wrong. I was damaging the bike and, I, uh, and, 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 and that would cause me to roll off the, the throttle, which was actually my mistake. Let me show you. Just so. Um, now, a week after I started riding, I came across this advice. When taking off, as you let out the clutch and hit the friction zone, roll on the throttle and do not let up until you start to get going. And then shift up once you feel it's safe to do so. Ignore the screeching of the engine. Don't let it spook you. If you do, you will stall your bike. Now my bike is a TU250X and is able to handle high RPMs so rolling on the throttle generously on takeoffs is not an issue. So try this out. Rev up the engine on takeoffs and shift up when it's safe to do so. Don't worry about the damage to the engine. Uh, these bikes were built with rev limiters so they're not uh, that device is not going to allow you to do, to to uh, destroy your engine either so and do not roll off the throttle until you're moving and ready to shift up now practice this on an empty lot uh, on an empty parking lot uh, first to see if it works now I'm going to show you how to use this technique when taking off from a level or flat surface and when taking off from an incline or hill. The process is slightly different. So let's get started. So when taking off from a flat, uh, uh, flat surface, the things to remember uh, are the following. Uh, always shift down to the first gear, make sure you're in the first gear and make sure both, uh, both of your feet are firmly planted on the ground that way uh, you can maintain the balance of the bike and uh, 
the, a flat surface also uh, has an advantage that it allows the right hand to actually be free so you can uh, roll on the throttle when time uh, when time comes for you to go uh, to get moving so again the process is very simple release the clutch until it hits the friction zone once the friction zone is hit roll on the throttle roll on do not let go roll on the throttle there we go then shift up Here is another example of uh, taking off from a flat surface. Again, make sure that you, both your feet are planted on the ground and uh, your clutch is uh, squeezed in. Uh, your right hand is free. And when the time comes to go, simply release, slowly release the clutch, but also apply the throttle. Roll on the throttle, roll on. Do not let go, do not let go. There we go. When it's safe to shift, shift up. Very simple. And then shift up again. This way you can uh, get moving without fear of the car behind you um, hitting you. Okay? So that is how you take off from a flat surface. But how do you take off uh, when you are uh, stopped on the hill? Um, and uh, you could be facing uphill. Now, things change there. As you know, now both of my legs are not firmly planted on the ground. My left leg is, and my right one is actually holding on it, onto the rear brake. Because, uh, again, the dynamics change here. The, the type of surface that you stop on changes the operation of the vehicle. In this case, with motorcycles, it's very important. In the beginning, I used to do this. I would hold on to the brake as I was taught hold on to the front brake and hold on to the rear brake and then when the time came for me to uh, actually uh, get going I would be confused release uh, I just didn't know what to do release the front brake or roll on the throttle and that was a little bit too complicated for me but I, I was told I was given this very 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 simple advice when you're stopped in the hill it's very important that you actually use the rear brake strategically to maintain the balance of the bike and of course you need the left uh, leg firmly planted on the ground just to maintain the balance this kind of a frees up your right hand so it focuses on the throttle only and for instance um, just so there we go so I wouldn't have to, uh, I wouldn't need to kind of think about uh, the front brake or anything like that. My right hand was entirely focused on the throttle, which is actually, which helped a lot because it made it easier for me to get going without stalling the bike. And again, the same process as with flat surfaces, you release the clutch until you hit that, uh, that friction zone. And even before that, start rolling on the throttle slightly. Now it, now the friction zone is there, roll on, don't let go, roll on, roll on, shift up, shift up, very simple really. Now the same principle applies when you're actually going downhill. Uh, right now I'm going downhill and I have to stop. Now, how do you take off? Well, simple. Again, the same principle applies as uh, it applied when taken off from uh, uphill. So again, you use your rear brake strategically. Uh, you hold uh, with your right uh, leg. You press on the rear brake. Uh, left leg. You uh, maintain the balance. You keep the balance of the bike, and. Uh, that kind of a frees up your right hand that so it only focuses on the throttle again give your signal where whichever directions you're going and the same principle release uh, release the clutch until it hits the friction zone and then look where you're going there we go same principle Do not be afraid of the buzzing. The buzzing of the engine, well, that's, that's as it should be. That's its job. 
Your job is not to be afraid. Don't let it intimidate you. So you ease up on the throttle and then you stall the engine. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that these tips uh, will be useful to you as they were to me and uh, uh, try them out, try them safely and uh, let me know if they worked. Until next time, be well and uh, ride safely.